there's a very characteristic image quality issue that sooner or later you're going to run into with your latex printer, hopefully later. It is bad plasticizer. Bad plasticizer is a problem on PVC products. It's common on banner. It's a little less common on adhesive vinyls. Uh, it's occasionally common also on wall coverings. If it's made out of PVC, they have life expectancies. It doesn't last from an image quality viewpoint from, for, forever. It has a, a date on it. Now, we've had adhesive vinyls that have lasted years, and they still print fine. But there's a certain cutoff point where all of a sudden you'll load it up, and it has very telltale image quality problems. And you're seeing this and thinking, what is going on? So I'll let you know what's going on. Without going into too much of a scientific deep dive, bad plasticizer is a deterioration of the surface tension of PVC products, especially, it's most common probably in Banner, where either through manufacture, possibly chemist, bad chemistry in the construction, um, frequently, it can be storage issues, especially if it's being shipped over from Asia and on a container ship, it gets very warm and then it cools back off again. It can be for improper storage in distribution centers. Uh, for example, we had a roll once where the top part of it was in direct sunlight. The bottom part of it was in a box. When we went to run it, one half of the roll was a disaster and the other half of the roll looked fine. One half of the roll had been continuously exposed to sunlight and it damaged the plasticizer. If the surface tension on the material has reached a certain level of degradation, on a latex printer you're almost always going to have a very characteristic image quality defect. Now I tried to find a bad roll, but everything is sunny and lovely in San Diego all the time and so there's no bad rolls in San Diego. I tried. So this roll here it's from 2013, so this is three years old. Print's perfect. Uh, I was hoping, but usually, even with most vinyl, I'll find you have many years before it finally goes, goes bad. If it were a banner, the chemistry on the banner or the quality might not be as high and it would tend to deteriorate more quickly. If you load an old roll of material and you see, now I drew them in here because it's not doing it. So I drew in my characteristic, I call them snake tracks. Snake tracking is really what's happening is that HP has a very characteristic pinch roller. And the pinch roller has or creates a very unique pattern when it rolls over the media. We, we specifically design these pinch rollers the way we do for uh, reasons, mechanical reasons to have the media convey through the printer well. But it leaves a telltale sign on bad plasticizer. The sign is that you get this squiggly line that goes consistently a bunch of them all the way down the printer. I call them snake tracks. It looks like a track of a snake going through water or sand. It is very unique to the HP latex printers. It's on all of our printers and it's almost a dead giveaway that you have a plasticizer problem. So if you see that on media, don't panic. You don't have snakes. It's just bad roll of media. It has nothing to do with your printer. Your printer is fine. There's nothing wrong with your ink. Your ink is fine. What's happened is you have a roll of media that either through poor construction, poor transport, poor storage, or it's just old. PVC has a life expectancy. You go past it, that's the end of it. Um, you're you're, you're kind of done. There's no real solution. The only solution is to try to take, I've had some people take uh, r like rubbing alcohol and wipe down the banner. And if you do that, you'll find that yes, in fact, the snake tracks will go away. You're essentially removing the poor plasticizer from the surface of the material. It kind of goes a layer down and then it prints fine. What's happening is the pinch rollers are lifting up enough of the poor plasticizer and creating a slight difference in color where the pinch roller made an imprint and then next to the pinch roller. Um, in fact, under the pinch roller would probably be a little better color than next to it. And that difference is immediately noticeable by the eye. Other telltale things would be overall splotchiness or unevenness in colors. I really don't have much going on here, and, and I do like this chart to identify plasticizer problems, because when you get them, it'll be very clear, especially in solid colors. 
if you send a whole length across the media width of a big solid color and you have plasticizer issues, it'll be very obvious you have them. There's not much you can do about it. Sometimes, especially if you're taking delivery, let's say you have a, someone shows up in a white van and offers you a great deal on banner, it might be worth your time to take a roll, put it on the printer, and then run it and confirm that the rolls are okay. Because you don't want a whole pallet full of rolls that are all bad. The reason they're being sold at discount by the guy in the white van is because the plasticizer has degraded and they're no longer saleable. Um, it's just a, a, a very distinctive pattern. I wanted to, I drew it on there because when you see it, you'll know it. And when it happens, don't panic. Your roll has gone bad. Um, just one of those things, most common on Banner. Uh, it's an image quality problem connected with plasticizer. I wanted you to know what it was. If you go on our website, you know, you can type in bad plasticizer. You can see images that we have of what it looks like. Fortunately, I wasn't able to find a bad roll, which is actually a good thing. For the most part, you don't want bad plasticizer, but that is an image quality defect associated and unique to PVC products generally. Occasionally, you'll have it in other coated materials where the coating has kind of gone south, and that, that does happen from time to time. Okay, bad plasticizer.